Welcome guys, this is Edwin and today I'm going to show you what I do to clean up the micarta on my Emerson Customs, but this also apply for any micarta, okay? This also apply for the micarta that you can see in the Tactical Element Exclusives or any other type of brand, you know, it should work, okay? It's pretty simple, okay? First, when you look at an Emerson, usually they come with very simple hardware, one of the reasons I love Emerson's, it will work. So here we go, I'm using this fancy stuff here. Again, I'm going to take out the micarta from this custom, and always we start with the clip. No matter what, we start with the clip, okay? And at the end of the day, it's a very simple procedure. I only use, I just use water, Dawn or soap, right? And and they say, and that's it. Now in this custom that like you can see, it's using flat screws around there. And we're going to remove those flat screws on this Super CQC7. Again, dude, I love, dude, I'm just using some crappy, I love this. I don't need to be, <clears throat> Okay, let's go here, bam, bam. and I put my fingers there just to make sure they don't skip somewhere and scratch it or whatever. You know, I just put my fingers around and I'm just taking out all that. And this should be down there. Now you can see this is, this is marked like we know from the other FAQ, uh, from the other FAQ video, you can see at the bottom is marked with a B. You know, sometimes it's numbers, sometimes it's letters, and this is the micarta piece. And I'll do the same here. And at the end of the day, this one should have a B as well, right? Like we saw in my FAQ video regarding. Emerson custom markings and, and stuff like that, okay? Come on, um, I need to release here a little bit more, I'm sorry. No rush, never be in a rush. And like you can see, this is also matching with a B, right? Because that's what Mr. Emerson does to keep track of what custom goes with what, right? And now let's go, if I wanted to clean up the whole thing, I will dismantle this whole thing, right? And then just do the same procedure that I'm going to show you now. It's very simple, but sometimes you need to show it so that people know and people believe you. Here, water with soap. I'll take one micarta, throw it there. Second micarta, throw it there. And then I grab this one little, you know, one of those brushes that is nothing. It's very, you can use a toothbrush or those very, you know, those nylon brushes or, you know, something soft. And you just do this, man. That's it. Go there. And again, I'm doing it here. This is not the most friendly scenario. I usually prefer to do this in the kitchen, but I do not have the way to take a video there. Well, I probably could have, could have asked my kids about it. And you do that and make sure that, you know, it's looking good, looking good. And it's my car, so usually what I do is that I let it I will rinse it with water in the sink and keep doing this and then just rinse it in the water, okay? So I will do that right now. The next step now is just go to the sink and rinse it and make sure I take out all the, you know, all that soap that is on the micarta, okay? And then I'll come back and continue the video. Okay, we're back. I rinse it with water right and now i will let it dry and i will dry pretty fast but i will let it there dry 
for a few minutes, okay? Uh, 15, 20 minutes, let it dry, forget about it, and it will be ready. And again, you will see that it will come back to that like brand new color. All those oils that were there in the past are gone. And you know, that's it. So let me wait 20 minutes or so, and I'll come back, make sure it's dry, and we'll put it back in the piece right here, okay? Okay, and that's it guys, it's clean, like you can see. Let me show you, clean my card, uh, you know, completely clean right there. Still have that mark, it's totally clean. Look at the other one. Oh, come on, man. Here we go. It's already clean and super easy. You know, I will even do this. Obviously, you need to make sure it dries across the board. But I will do this for with the whole knife. I didn't want to do that today, but if I need to, I'll do the whole knife like that. But I wanted to show you in this video just like I clean the micarta. And now let's go back again, put it back. It should just fit in place. Notice I'm not putting any Loctite. It's not needed really. If you, obviously if, if you have a problem with some of the things falling off, you know, then yeah, then put some Loctite, but I haven't had an issue with this Emerson or, you know, or most of them, my Emerson. I'm hoping I'm in frame after putting this together. Oh, and I should have taken some pictures before and after, but hey, we got the video. You can see in the video the before and after on this. Let me make sure this is a line up there. Come on, Are you line up there, yeah. Maybe I put this a little bit. Yeah, I was not lining this up. Again, behind the camera is a little bit different. <laughs> the angle when we're putting this stuff. My wife is here now, so. But you can see, clean, clean my card now on that Super CQC7. I'll put the back, the you know, the pocket clip and we are done. And that's how I clean a micarta handle across the board all the time. Thank you for watching. Any comment, any other process you guys use, feel free to comment and we'll add it to the uh, YouTube. Okay. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.